Hello and welcome to Library Salad. Today's episode is making Linza cookies and stamp cookies brought to you by the Monroeville Public Library in Pennsylvania. Hi, I'm Alice. Happy holidays. And if you haven't started baking any cookies, this is going to be a great time to maybe do something a little different. A couple of weeks ago, I said to myself, my goal we're going to call it a go, is to make Linzer cookies. I've never made Linzer cookies before. Those are like the shortbread, like one cookie, usually heart-shaped, put the jam, then another cookie on top of it, usually a little heart in the center. Um, so I'm going to do one of those, but I'm also going to do stamp cookies. Those are cookies that are made with this stamper, and I'll show you how to do that. This is all the rage. I thought this was something new, but recently I found out that stamps for cookies actually were from the 1800s when German immigrants brought them over. So don't worry about the recipes. Both of them will be included on the post that you're going to see. Now, what I've simply done is I've started to put the rolling out a little bit. What I'd like to do, I've shown you in the past, is by taking a little bit of some plastic wrap and just rolling on top of that. You don't have to worry about this sticking or anything else. Now, I'm gonna show you how easily they stamp. They stamp I me, mean, I tried them for the first time like a minute ago, worked out well, who knows with the camera on. All right, so all you do is putting it down, pressing it all the way down, taking your hand, pushing that down, and then how perfect is that? Ooh, ah. Okay, so in this, you barely get me like two more over here. And just throw this it is out. why we don't have nice things. Oh, speaking of nice things, people, you may say to yourself, where do I get one of these? Or I'm just maybe going to use it once. I don't want to buy it. Starting the beginning of January, you're going to be able to check these out at the Monroeville Public Library. If that's she doesn't right. break them. If I don't break them before that, that's a good point. You know, it's always, you know, like, read the fine print. All right. It comes in a box with three different ones. How cool is this? And then, so we can simply show you that. Just as easy. There's, gonna, there's a circle one. I am I am really impressed with these considering like I'm really doing nothing but you can use a lot of different types look at <laughs> I'm getting it that seriously hopefully hopefully you guys so all right so there's where we are I'm just simply going to melt the jam a little bit and I'll be back to show you how we do that and it's going to be right in the oven after that all right Three different ways to actually uh, insert the jam. One is going to be, could be a square bottle. Second is with just a pastry bag, which is easy to put, apply when you've got this going over. It's easy to do this. I think this is really, really thin. Follow the recipe on just 30 seconds in the microwave. We're going to see how that goes. And then the next one would simply be with a regular spoon. So we're going to test it, see how this is going to work out. Let's go first, narrow. I liked that. I think that went well. Let's go. Whoop. All right, all right. It really has possibilities. I just, it went a little bit more than it should have. Okay, do a test the first time. And then we're gonna go with the spoon. Hold on, put that back. All right, there you go. These are gonna go in the oven, really simple, and I'll show you how they come out. All right, so the first damp batch cookies are now cooling. We're moving on to the more traditional Linzer cookie. The recipe that I gave you is actually called a nut free. Most of the recipes for Linzer cookies have almond flour in them. You may not be able to find it or 
price, a little more pricey than that. I wasn't going to look around during the week, um, so I simply found one. So, but you can use any traditional one that you'd like. So again, rolled it out. Um, when rolling a Lindsay, you're gonna roll it thinner than the average cookie because remember, you're gonna stack two of these on top of each other with the gem in between. So it's not to have a cookie like this unless you want to. You're gonna wanna keep it a little thinner than the stamp cookie. So any kind of cookie that, kind of that you want, I am going with the actual heart shaped. Fun thing about the Linzer cookie is that you're gonna cut out one, you'll cut out the next, and what you'll do is on half of them, you're going to make the small cutout in the center. You can do it any way you want. I happen to find these little tiny cutouts at a thrift store, but, and let's see how these work. Lining them up is gonna be a little weird. Okay, so, and you can actually bake these. These will come out when I scoop them up. You can bake the little ones separately. And if you don't have um, one of these, and most people don't, I just happen to find it, you can use the tip for icing. Just turn it around and you can put that, good luck. Ah, ta-da, in the center, all right? You might want to bake these a little less time in the action of cookies. So what will happen now is I will finish cutting these all out. They're going to chill. They'll get baked, and when they come out, these cookies will have the jam and confection of sugar will apply, and then we'll taste test the difference between the two. Okay, I'm really pleased with how they came out. Actually, it's going to look like the recipe doesn't make that much. I prepared the whole recipe, but I only baked half of them. Why, you ask? Because we made the cookie baking with the family last weekend. I don't need any more cookies. These are going to go to the library. And it's also 9.30 at night. So we move forward. So those with the cutouts are going to get a light dusting, a medium dusting, of the powdered sugar. You can judge which way you want to go, how much with that. Um, and then the ones that do not have the cutouts, those are actually going to get the gem I'm using the same one, not too close. Come on, you can do it. Not too close to the edge because they will end up spreading. And I would suggest buying a one of the larger containers of the jam because of the fact that you really don't get, and you know what, in hindsight, probably a spoon might be better, but you judge what you think looks best. Okay, so if we take jam put this whoops on top and there you go i'm going to finish decorating plate it and then we will be back with a taste testing all right here we are i think both of them came out extremely well i'm really happy um, about the results and thank you to everybody because it's by doing library salad that I sort of make myself get to this point and try this. These were definitely on my list of things that I wanted to do. So I would say the little for some reason on the stamp ones the jam feathered a little bit. It went out a little so that's one of those things uh, next time I'll work on a little maybe a little more on some a little less on some. Um, but I think they're going to be delicious. The hot ones, um, traditional Linza, those can't say enough about. So Rich and I are just going to take a test. He, he, Rich, you can have those. Usually he just grabs them. You know, this time he's actually getting them handed to them. So the test between the two of them, they are two different recipes, two different cookies. So they could be, you know, I'm sure they're going to be equally as good, but I said we would test them. So here we go. You're gonna eat what? Okay, fine. All right. And they're both equally good. They really are. I hope that you enjoy these, that you get a chance to make them. And remember, if you're in the Monroeville area in Allegheny County, these are gonna be available soon. 
the stamps beginning of January. You can check those out, take those home, bring them back, and have a great time and a great holiday.